Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about taking common of algebraic expressions. Now, how do we take common of algebraic expressions, right? So we are going to start from simple problems and then move on to a little bit tougher ones slowly, okay? Okay, so let's say we have an algebraic expression such as 2x plus 6, right? So how do we take common in this case? So what we do in this case is we have to take common from the numbers, right? 2 and 6. And what we do is we have to try to find the highest common factor of 2 and 6, okay? The greatest common factor. What does that mean? That means the biggest numbers that can divide both 2 and 6. It should be able to divide both 2 and 6, okay? And we know that the highest common factor of 2 and 6 is 2 itself. So we are going to take 2 as common in this case, right? Because 2 can divide 2 and 2 can also divide 6. So 2 is our common, okay? Now we are going to put the remaining things in a bracket. So 2 times what is 2x? 2 times x is 2x. Plus 2 times what is 6? 2 times 3 is 6. And we are going to close the bracket and that's it. Done, okay? We have taken common of this expression. So this one's simple. Let's look at a similar example here. Let's say we have 4y plus 10, okay? So here, what's the common factor of 4 and 10? Highest common factor is 2, right? 2 can divide both 4 and 10, right? And so we are going to take 2 as our common. So 2 times what is 4? 2 times 2 is 4, and y is also there. So we are going to write that y. Plus is going to be plus. 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5 is 10, and that's it, done. That's how we take common of numbers, okay? So that's our first type of algebraic expressions. You can always check whether your answer is correct or not by multiplying this answer, okay? So when you multiply them, it should give us our original question, okay? We can multiply this, right? So 2 times 2y is 4y, plus 2 times 5 is 10. And this is our original question, right? 4y plus 10. So you can always check your answer whether what you have done is correct or not, okay? Okay, now let's look at a different type of question, okay? Let's say we have 2ax plus 3ay, okay? So here, we know that 2 and 3 don't have any common factors, right? They do have common factor 1, but we don't take 1 as common usually. So we are not going to take common from the numbers. Whereas when you look at the variables, right, the alphabets, you see that a is common on both sides, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to take these two a as common from this algebraic expression, okay? So when we take that a common, what do we have remaining in the brackets, right? We have 2x for the first term, so we are going to write 2x, right? Plus is plus, and then for the second term, we have 3y remaining, and we are going to write 3y in the bracket. That's how you take common if the variables are common in an algebraic expression, okay? So in this video, we are going to be trying to do all type of algebraic expressions, okay, where you can take common. This is a little bit different one than this one, right? So here we know that there is a common factor of 2 and 4, right? 2 can divide both 2 and 4, so we can take 2 as common. And then in the case of variable, right, x square is x times x, right? So we can write it like this, let's say. And we have 1x common on both these terms, so we can take x also as common. Okay, so what do we have remaining here? We have 1x remaining here, right? This x is still remaining here. 2 is already there. We have taken common or 2. So we are going to write the remaining x here, plus, right? Again, we have taken x common, right? And then 2 times what is 4? 2 times 2 is 4, and done, okay? Now, what about if we have three terms? Uh, let's say we have 4a plus 8b plus 12c, okay? So what do we do here, right? So in this case as well, we do the same as we did with two terms, okay? We are going to take common from these three numbers. And we have to find the greatest common factor, okay? Number which can divide all these three numbers. So what can divide 4, 8, and 12? You guessed it right, 4, okay? So 4 can divide 4, 8, and 12. So 4 is the common factor, right? And then we write the remaining things in our bracket. So here, for the first term, we have a remaining plus for the second term, we know 4 times 2 is 8, so 2, right? B is also remaining there. For the third term, 4 times 3 is 12, so we are going to write 3 there, and C is also remaining there, and that's it. Done. The process is same with two terms as well as three terms, okay? Now, these ones are simple, right? Let's look at a little bit complex one, okay? It's not complex, actually, but it looks complex, okay? So let's say 
we have 6x cube y square and plus 9x square y cube minus 3x square y square okay so how to take common if we have something like this right so what we do here is first let's just look at the numbers right in case of numbers we have 6 9 and 3 and the common factor of 6 9 and 3 is 3 right so 3 can divide all 3 6 9 and 3 now in case of variables right we have x cube y square x cube y square is x dot x dot x and y dot y right similarly we have x square y cube right so it's 2x but 3 y's right so 3 y's and then we have x square y square right that is 2x and 2y so when we look at the variables we see 2x common in all three terms right and similarly we see 2y common in all three terms okay so there is an extra x here but it's not common in all three terms okay similarly there is an extra y here but it's not common in all three terms so what we are going to do is we are going to take these 2x and 2y common okay from all these three terms so we have x square and y square now we write the remaining things right so for the first term 3 times 2 is 6 so 2 is remaining here and in case of variables we have x remaining so we write x right so in case of second term we have 3 times 3 is 9 right so 3 there and we have y remaining here so we are going to write that y here minus in case of the third term we have taken three common right and x square y square is also common there so there is nothing left and when there is nothing left we write one and that's it we have taken common of this expression as well now you don't always need to break these terms like that okay to take common you can do it directly by imagining this right so let's try to do another one directly okay so let's say we have 12 a square right b4 plus 10 a cube b square minus 8 a square b cube okay so how do we take common in this case okay so we are going to try to do this one directly okay so we have 12 10 and 8 right we know that the number that divides all three of these numbers 12 10 and 8 is 2 okay 2 is the only number that can divide 12 10 and 8 okay so we take 2 as common now in case of variables when you look closely we have a square a cube and a square right so two a's are common in all three terms there is three a here but there is no three a here and there is no three a there so we are only going to take a square as common okay because two a's are common in all three of them and in case of a b we have four b here two b here and three b here okay so there are four b's here but four b's are not common across all three terms okay only two b's are common across all these three terms right so we are going to take b square as common okay and then we write the remaining things in the bracket so 2 times 6 is 12 so 6 is there and a square is already taken common right for b4 we have taken two b's common so 2 b is still remaining there so b square is there we write plus and then two fives are 10 right so 5 is there and a square is gone right but there is still one a left because it's a cube right so we have to write a there b square is gone we don't need to write that and then minus right and 2 times 4 is 8 right so we are going to write 4 there a square is gone and in case of b cube right b square is gone so there is still one b left so we write that b there and done okay we have taken common of the set separate expression without doing this step now we have a last one okay this one's a little bit important okay because most of the time when you are doing factorizations you see expressions like this okay so let's say we have a question something like this so we have 3x minus y and minus 4x minus y here this whole term x minus y is common in both cases so what we are going to do is we are going to take x minus y as common in this case and then we write the remaining things in brackets so for the first term we have 3a remaining and for the second term we have minus 4 remaining right so we are going to write that minus 4 there and it's done now if this feels a little bit weird to you what we can do is we can assume x minus y as let's say p okay so x minus y is our p then what we'll have is 3a p minus 4p right and this was our basic question again right so we can take p as common and the remaining thing is 3a in the first case and minus 4 in the second case 
And when we substitute the value of P, which is X minus Y, right? We get our answer, okay? So X minus Y, 3A minus 4, okay? If this feels weird doing directly, you can do it also like this. Now, at the end, we want to talk about one of the most common mistakes people make while taking common. And that would be when there is a minus in front, people make a lot of mistakes. So, let's say we have the same expression, but we have minus 2x in front, okay? So, we have negative sign in front. Now, when people take common in this case, what they do is they write that minus, right? They take two common, and then they write like x, right? Plus is plus, and 2 times 3 is 6. And this is completely wrong because when there is minus in front it's a little bit different okay you need to think about the symbols so when there is minus 2x plus 6 right what we have to think about is this negative sign as well so we do take minus 2 as common right and then we have x remaining here minus 2 times x is minus 2x but minus 2 times plus 3 is not plus 6 okay so if we write plus 3 like that Minus 2 times plus 3 is going to be minus plus is minus 6. But we don't have minus 6 in our question, okay? So what we need to write here is minus 3, okay? Because minus minus will then become plus and 2 times 3 is 6, okay? So when there is negative in front, you have to change the symbols inside the bracket, okay? So let's say, for example, we have 4y plus 10 again, right? 4y plus 10, but let's say there is again minus symbol in front, okay? Now we can again take minus 2 as common here, and there is 2y left here, right? So minus 2 times 2y is minus 4y, but in case of this plus, we have to change that symbol to minus, and 2 times 5 is 10, because when we change that symbol, what will happen is when you multiply this, right? Minus 2 times minus 5, we will get plus 10, okay? So that's one of the most common mistakes which students make while taking common, okay? We are going to do this much in this video. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future maths videos. Thank you.